All right, everybody, welcome back. It's Bill here, and we're just doing another update. We're just uh, looking at the eyelet board. This is the first step I'm taking in building this amp, uh, the Mojo Tone kit, and fairly straightforward, nothing really elaborate or uh, overwhelming with it. Uh, I spent about a half an hour uh, placing the components onto the board and, and just folding back the wire through the eyelet, uh, confirming that um, I had the right value resistor in place and confirming also my electrolytic capacitors were in the proper uh, positive negative direction um, that's uh, these three here there's a single one here single and a single their function in the circuit I don't know I couldn't tell you because I'm not uh, versed in electronics and uh, also you will see here that the resistor for the last two here are actually soldered to the lead of the capacitors. That's only because uh, the length only just came up to the eyelet for the resistor so I thought uh, I would do it this way and it seems that it's a common practice as I did some Google searching on the internet just to make sure I wasn't uh, breaking uh, protocol. So fairly straightforward about a half an hour on that, a half an hour on tack soldering the components in place so they wouldn't move around before I went to adding the uh, leads. The nice thing about this uh, kit is the drawing is pretty much a one-to-one -one scale so once I lay my board where it would be placed on the uh, chassis I know what my lengths are going to be for the connection connector leads to the different components uh, the jacks and the volume and tone and the uh, <clears throat> the tube sockets and we have the back side and I did reference some images off the internet for this too for confirmation since I had to reverse everything on the drawing to the board I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything and everything looks like it's uh, all good so from here I'll start to uh, I'll set this aside and I'll begin prepping the uh, controls they need a little bit of indiv individual attention uh, such as uh, soldering the ground and what I'll do is I'll do that outside of the chassis the way I don't have to fight with the limited space once they're installed as well as adding the uh, resistors to the um, tube sockets and then and the input uh, jacks as well they can uh, have a little bit of uh, work done before they get installed that'll make things a little easier when running my uh, leads and doing my connections because it'll start getting uh, a little busy in there with wiring and I don't want to make any mistakes um, also uh, the different kit suppliers will use different uh, wire coloring uh, some will have blue and red. This kit came with black and white and yellow and green. And you'll notice some kits have red and blue, which did not come with this kit. That's why I'm not using it. But I made sure that my grounds were black and the rest were yellow and, and green. So I should have no uh, issues in that regard. And that's basically it. I mean, take an afternoon, grab a coffee, and you can have one ready to go and feel really good about yourself. So... Anyways, next installment will be uh, showing the controls and getting that stuff put into the chassis and uh, just moving straight ahead with, uh, with his build. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to building guitars. We'll talk to you later.